hello everyone uh, welcome to short answers classes so today we are going to discuss dac 2021 question number 17 so mrs a likes grapes and strawberries with every two pieces of grapes she prefers eating three pieces of strawberries that means basically the grape is to strawberry ratio is always 2 is to 3 so this is a fixed proportion so what does this tell you that grapes and strawberries are basically perfect complements for this person this is a direct information that we get now continuing with the question thus consumed every piece of grapes gives her a utility of 1 income of mrs a is i and per piece prices of grapes and strawberry is pg is 3 and ps is 2 respectively now suppose the price of strawberry goes up to rupees 3 what should be the change in income delta i to maintain the same level of utility so first of all let us first see that in the initial situation that means uh, let's say i call it a situation 1 where the price of grapes is 3 and price of strawberries is let's find out what is the utility that each is at the other so for that we need to understand that what is the utility function over here so you can see over here that grapes The ratio is actually two. The strawberries ratio is actually three. And we need to have a perfect complement function, which is basically a minimum. So how do we get the minimum? We basically swap the coefficients, so we get three g comma two s. Okay. So this is my utility, which is minimize of three g comma two s, and my budget constraint is i is equal to three times g plus two times s. Now we are going to solve for the optimal. Therefore, at optimal, three g is equal to two s. So if I call the initial budget constraint as one, so from one what do we get? Instead of three g, I write two s. So this is basically coming out to be a star equals to i by four, and again from one instead of two s by three g, the optimal amount of grapes comes out to be i by six. So what is my utility at optimal? It is minimum of three times i by six comma four uh two times i by four. So that is essentially coming out to be i by this is utility. Now the question is in situation two. Situation two: the price of grapes remains the same, but the prices of strawberries increases. Situation two: so what happens? Prices of strawberries increase to three. So price of grapes continues to be three, and the price of strawberries increases to three. So my new income after adding the amount of income, so that is what it is additional amount of income that is required in the same level of utility. We'll come to here making the same level of utility. Let's take that situation: the new income is i plus delta, I, and the budget constraint is three times g plus three times s, and the utility function continues to be minimum of three times g comma two times s. So now we are again optimizing. So again, at optimal, we have three g equal to two s, right? So if I call this again budget constraint as two, so from two what we get instead of three g if I place two s, so it is two s plus three s. So this is s double star. It is i plus delta i divided by five. So the new amount of, and again from equation two, i plus delta i instead of um, so i plus delta i will be two three g. Plus three times s. Now, in case of s, what can I write? I can write three by two g. So I will just substitute it out. So two that is three g plus nine by two g, that is fifteen by two g. So what is my g double star now to be two by fifteen times i plus delta i, right? So what is the new level of utility? U double star. It is minimum of three times g double star comma two times s double star. So that is minimum of three times g. That is two by three times i plus delta i comma Two times s double star, which is i plus delta i, two by five. So this is really the same as two by five times i plus delta i. Now, how are we going to have this change in income delta i? It is by the way of maintaining the same level of utility. That means u double star is equal to u star. How did we obtain u star earlier? U star had come out to be i by two. So u double star u star means two by five times i plus delta i equal to i by two. So i plus delta i comes out to be five by four times i. So one delta i it is i by four, and that is really my option three. So this is my option three. Okay, thank you very much.